Excluding my mom. What's the worst sex you've ever had? Worst sex I've ever had hands down was with my current girlfriend the second time we went out. Went on a hike. It was raining. Got into it on top of a mountain. I'd imagined it would be thrilling and badass. I never imagined having a half chub trying to stab this poor girl while a rock dug into her back. We were both shivering and tired after that yet she stuck around for 3 years and much better sx. Comma she stuck around for 3 years and much better sx. Who's she banging now? Was giving my boyfriend oral sx and when he thrust into my mouth. His penis went under my tongue and tore the membrane that connects your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. Couldn't move my tongue for about 3 weeks. So. You were eyeing speechless? Badam tish. Bought some really expensive leather wrist and ankle restraints for my gf. We have tied up before and she was really into it. We strapped her down and started getting freaky. Then out of nowhere she starts crying and. Like really upset. Turns out she hates being tied up and was just playing along before cause she wanted to make me happy. Worst feeling ever. Was cutting up some jalapia for dinner. Got frisky afterwards and decided to finger her. She starts screaming from jalapia residue still on my fingers. After she cools down we decide to have sx. I start screaming from jalapia residue still in her bag. We called it a night. We were in my car after work near the woods. Halfway through. Someone bangs on the window yelling what the are you doing? Dot. First girlfriend in high school that I had sx with. She was bizzled but I thought she might just be a lesbian. Most times she would literally just lay on her back and not move. She refused to touch my dick. 90% of the time I couldn't even come. The first time I did come. In a condom. She panicked and told her parents that she thought she was pregnant. Relationship didn't last much longer. I think I married her. Self-heating massage oils that read for external use only are not tying around with that warning label. Minute 1 great sx. Minute 2 hum that's a little warm. Minute 3 both of us curled up in a fetal position with ice packs on our junk. I got a disclaimer right off the bat it's been a while. But that wasn't even the problem. He shaved his entire body and was just starting to grow back. Being a hairy fella. Every inch of him was covered in needle like stubble. Thank god it had been a while for him. Because if it was any longer than the 20 seconds it was. I would have been bloody all over my body from his stubble rubbing against me. The classic pull back. Thrust forward. And bend. Could not get back in the mood after that pain. Should have gone with the bend and snap. Always works. My wife is a notorious pecker wrecker. Right in the middle of SX she'll say something like. By the way. My parents wanted to know if we're free this weekend. Or did you remember to fix the washer? I'll usually just stop and politely ask if we can discuss it at another time. Edit. I had an asthma attack midway through SX with some random dude, I'm a woman. He was on top in missionary and I started gasping and trying to push him off me so I could get my inhaler. He starts saying oh you like that? And went harder. He thought I was coming. I was not. I'm sorry but this is I'm hilarious as someone with asthma. He had a micropenis. I truly couldn't feel anything. I could have worked with him if he'd been generous going down on me but he refused because he thought it was weird. Mayo. If that is his situation you think he would be overtly generous. More just embarrassing than anything. But my girlfriend had been teasing me all day by touching me. But never going further than that. By the end of the day she's all excited thinking it will be great sx with all of the build up. But I feel like I could burst just thinking about it. Came in like 30 seconds. Ah dude. Next time laugh and say you were excited and then focus on her for a little while till your Johnson is ready again. If you're not using condoms have her clean it off first. Edit. Make sure barrel is clear as well. Take a pee. I totally do this all the time and it's not awkward at all. It can even be really nice. 
one of the girls I dated in college was very sheltered and it sometimes led to some interesting situations. The first time we attempted SX. She tried to finger that area between my butt and my balls and managed to stab her index finger down onto my left testicle. And she had decently long fingernails. I nearly puked from the pain. Needless to say. I was completely done with anything as usual after all that. And we just watched TV the rest of the evening while I sat on the couch whimpering. The word you are looking for is taint. She tried to finger your taint. Also acceptable acceptable. Grundel. ABC. Ass ball connector. Gooch. Fleshy funbridge. I'm sure there are more. I'm just here to make sure I'm not somebody else's worst experience. Hooked up with a girl on Halloween MMPHRPPHHH years ago. Took her back to my place and one thing led to another and before you know it she's riding me reverse cowgirl on my bed. I'm having a hell of a time grabbing her ass. But apparently the moderate to severe drinking we had been doing earlier was impacting her GI tract. And my grabbing and kneading of her ass prompts her to unleash a watery torrent of diarrhea on my stomach. This would be bad enough. But the combined effects of realizing what just happened with the smell caused me to start vomiting. For some reason. My first impulse was to try and hold back the puke. Because I was in my bed and didn't want to make a mess. Ink thanks. Brain. But the whole day barkle caused me to do much more than just a little heaving. As a result. The vomit forced its way not only out of my nose. But out of my ink tear ducts. Experience rating. 0 stroke 10. Story rating. For the right audience. Once had a girl sit on my penis and try to make her body vibrate while making the bzzzz sounds of a vibrator. Edit. Wow didn't think this would get seen. Yes she was serious. We dated about a week and she did it several times until I asked her to stop. Her reply was oh really? My ex told me to stop doing it because it made him come too quickly and he wanted to last. I replied with oh. Honey she didn't get it. Had a woman give me a blowjob with pop rocks. I initially thought it would be awesome. Had to have her stop because it felt like gravel rubbing against the head of my dick. I'm Cosmo man. Guy with huge awesome penis put it in me. Never thrusted once. Then pulled out immediately and came. Wouldn't have been so terrible if he at least went down on me. On mushrooms. She kept turning into one of those poor unfortunate soul things in the little mermaid. Was doing 69 and got pooped on. I saw it coming. So I was able to move a bit. It landed on my chest instead of my face. Took her home and deleted blocked her number. My life. Edit. Should I post a picture of how hairy my chest is? The misery was much worse than what I described above. Sounds like a 71. I had a girl give me a blowjob one time and she was using her hand to fill in the gaps of time that her mouth wasn't on my junk. The problem was that she was pulling on my dick like she was trying to start a lawn mower and it was incredibly painful. I lost my virginity to a girl who was 9. 5 months pregnant. She was induced the next week. She had been a stripper when I met her through mutual friends. Kept hanging out with those friends and she was always around. One day our mutual friends made up an excuse to leave us alone. We were watching Squidbillies and she jumped me. My dick was numb the entire time. She got off in about 3 minutes and then it was over. Nothing puts me in the mood to a pregnant stripper like Squidbillies. Username checks out though. Hot friend reached down to my crotch and grabbed my dick. Woohoo. Right? We go into my room. And she refuses all foreplay involving my penis so I barely get past a chub. She tells me to finger her until she comes. Squirts all over my bed and me. Tells all her friends I have a tiny penis. I'm a grower. And if you don't help it grow it won't show. Colon. I think you might want to find another word to describe your relationship with her. Because friend doesn't seem appropriate here. An ex and I were taking a nap when we started having sex. I was conscious that we were having sex. But still dreaming I was at a deli counter. 
When all was said and done we looked at each other slightly disgusted and agreed to never do that again. The first time I tried m baiting with my left hand. It was like getting a hand job from someone with Parkinson's. SX in the shower. We slipped and fell. Got a little beat up. My girlfriend had been talking about how she wanted to ride my face so one night we finally decide to do it. She wants to make a big thing of it so she puts on this SSI underwear and sets up a playlist and everything. When she finally starts riding my face I realize she didn't wipe well and the wetness from her PSSY was mixing with the poop residue on her asshole. The whole time it was like she was just rubbing a poop solution on my face. The smell and the taste was awful but I didn't have the heart to say anything. I had her smell my face afterwards and she was mortified when she realized what happened. We're married now and I tease her about it still. Not so much the SX. It was so so. But the aftermath. I was living in London. Doing the broke version of SX in the city as 20 something singleton. The guy I was with woke me up trying to sneak out of the room. Keyword trying. He was trying to find his shoes. Stumbling around. Swearing under his breath. So I mumbled that the key element of sneaking out was the ability to sneak. He was terribly offended. Why? Because I wasn't sad he was leaving. Even now that makes me shake my head in confusion. The fact I wasn't heartbroken at his cruel pre-dawn desertion made me in his eyes. You know if I'd been inconsolable and tried to get in touch with him again I'd be the crazy clingy bitch. Some guys you just can't win with. We both fell asleep while I was knuckle deep. Maybe we both suck. My friend was graduating college so he threw himself an ice cream and stripper party. He ordered a stripper to his place and we watched a stripper herself, emsturbating, with 20 dudes watching her and eating ice cream. It was the best weirdest experience I had so far. Watching live PRN and, and eating ice cream with sprinkles. After the show ended this tinder girl messaged me. It was like 2am at this point. She came over to my place and I was so excited from the show that I lasted 3 thrust with this girl. She left right away. I was embarrassed but satisfied I got laid and had a belly full of ice cream. Edit. Time I lost my virginity for a few reasons. My roommate was in the room watching Netflix. I barely knew the girl. Her PSSY tasted salty and sweaty. When my roommate finished watching Netflix and tried to sleep he yelled at us and told us to go to sleep after groaning for 30 minutes. And I didn't even come. 2 stroke 10. Edit. Probably tasted like your roommate. Wife wanted it to have another woman. I landed the dream gig. Girl comes over and it was an immediate sigh. Not the good kind. She was completely unshaved everywhere. Overweight. Which isn't a terrible thing but it was in this case. Very unhygienic and was kind of rude. I couldn't get it up at all after having the worst going down on someone experience of my life. My wife had to help just to get me okay to basically perform. I eventually finished somehow and with that notion. My wife called it quits and told her to leave. I vomited a little afterwards. Good times. Jesus. Did your wife pick the woman? Maybe she was down low mad at you for agreeing and wanted you to have a terrible time. I was taking a night class. And started chatting to this girl during our smoke break. Eventually she came over. And we did the typical movie couch cuddle making out. She gave me one of the best BJ's I've ever had. And I was thinking. Man. She's going to like a PRN star. This is going to be awesome we go to my room. She's on top. And acting a bit uncomfortable. Like I'm in too deep, not bragging. She rides for a bit. Then suddenly says did I tell you my dad used to molest me? Apostrophe. Colon. Stroke. Talk about mood color. I think I said uh. No that's tragic switched positions and kept going. After I came. I drove her home. And dropped the night course was doing the sx her on top she got a little too rough and it bent immediate boner crushing pain she said oops and tried to keep going 
I had to get her off of me. Then she got mad at me and said that if we couldn't have sex, she'd just leave. Which is exactly what she did. She didn't understand why I refused to speak to her again. I was with my girlfriend when we were 16 and we needed a place to go have sex so we used my car. We drove into a very secluded and windy road with trees all over and pulled over. We are going at it and everything is fine until I look over my shoulder and there is a guy in a van with a huge grin on his face watching us. He then yells if she ain't sucking your dick it ain't worth it. Before taking off. It was terrifying at first but immediately became funny afterwards. Tried it in a pool once. Would not recommend. Zero stroke 10. Yup. My first time was in a hot tub. A bikini bottom was still on. Just to the side. The water removed what natural lube there was and the swimsuit chafed my willy. 1 stroke 10. It was my birthday. I was drunk and wanted to have some birthday sx. So I texted this guy I've been talking to. Went to his house. We fooled around for a bit and when I got to his dick it was incredibly small. I was very disappointed because he is a huge dude but his little friend is really little. Tried to get it inside a couple times didn't happen. Gave him a BJ he came. I patted his belly and fell asleep. Happy birthday me. Not all heroes wear capes. He entered me and immediately came. Seriously. There could have been one good stroke possibly? Wasn't worth it. Or. The guy who jackhammered me all night. Gave me no sort of pleasure outside of putting his dick in me. He was just looking at himself in the mirror American Psycho style. I was bored as. I guess that's what I get for taking home a go-go dancer. I wanna end this by saying that there is a happy pleasurable medium but these guys did not have it. Tried to have an L and just wasn't feeling it that night. He got up and left the house. It was my husband. Edit. Didn't think this would get much attention. I have so many stories from this dip. What really hurt at the time. Is that I'm above average in the looks department and I wanted SX often. So I was really at a loss. Turns out he was cheating. A lot. I divorced him. He still wants me. I'm now with someone who treats me very well. Edit 2. The NL wasn't working out on my end. People. Lol. He did like to bat for the other team I later found out. She had one of those IUD birth control things put in recently. They either got it wrong or we didn't wait long enough. But it fell out of place and repeatedly stabbed the tip of my dick. I didn't realize at first until the pain started overcoming the pleasure. It didn't bleed. But it stung for a full day afterwards. She ended up pulling it completely out. Which sounded like it was extremely painful. And never had it put back in. Comma excluding my mom. By putting that there. It was my first weekend of college. He was 8 years my senior. And we met online. He came to my dorm room to hang out which of course led to fooling around. He intimidated me into not using a condom. And choked me when he knew it was a hard limit for me. Afterwards I asked him to leave and though I was on the pill I got plan B and got tested the following Monday, with follow up testing a few months later. Comma later found out he had a girlfriend and lived with his parents. My roommate in college was a total slob. But that didn't keep me and this girl from getting it on in the general living area while he was away. We were on the easy chair and she was on top so things got pretty sweaty. We then moved to the couch for some doggy to air it out. Awesome. Until I look down to notice red dribbling down my leg. My thought was that she had just downloaded Spotify on me. Which wouldn't be the first time. I pulled away and with a non-judgmental tone conveyed the situation to her. Her face was puzzled. We looked on the chair and saw a red streak and she investigated herself. Her words it's not coming from Emmy took a while to rattle around my skull. Well it sure as hell isn't coming from Emmy. I retorted. I turned back toward the chair and she started bursting with laughter. With a brave hand. She reached toward the top of my ass crack and removed what was left of a red skittle. To say the least. It was very difficult to overcome the nickname of Skittlebutt. Edit. It was with my first ex. 
Backstory. We're two gay men. One day he decides he finally wants to do an L. I ask him if he had cleaned out. He said he thought he was empty. He wasn't. Proceed to get everywhere. Still came somehow. Afterwards he ran to the bathroom dripping it on the floor all the way. I did a bang up job cleaning everything up though. PL. Doctor first time doing an L was a show. I dated this guy for a while and we finally decided to do it. He was my first but he has been with quite a few people. He puts the condom on. Inserts. And the condom falls off in me with the first thrust. Like. Slid off. He said it felt weird and I'm thinking how I thought it would hurt more. Not enjoyable for me even though we tried a few more times and come to find out he was into men. I should have known with his fascination with taking shots of alcohol with other guys while their pants were down. TL. Dr. Eugene likes an L with other men not virgin PSSY. My first attempt at SX. After leaving my boyfriend of 5 years. Was with a close friend. I had found out my boyfriend had been cheating on me. For almost a year. And while I tried to work it out with him. I couldn't. That being said. I hadn't had good SX in months. So I go to my friend's house. And start flirting. Hard. There had always been a good deal of sexual tension between us. And I couldn't wait to sleep WTH him. We start making out. Heavy petting. And then clothes start coming off. I'm hornier than I had ever been. I take my bra off and start to initiate foreplay. But it doesn't go as planned. Not even 10 seconds into the hand job. He comes. It gets all over my bra. And shirt that are laying on the bed. I laughed a little. In an attempt to lighten the mood. But he got too embarrassed and wouldn't give it another shot. I left. Frustrated and sticky. Probably the worst was a with a friend of mine during my teen years. Not really sure why. But we were hanging out together and she just randomly asked to have sx. Then decided. No kissing. ETC. Just sx. She laid there motionless and quiet during the entire thing. After an hour. I just gave up. Because it was so boring and I faked that I came. Just to get it over with. This happened to me somewhat recently. I was eating out a woman I was with. She is naturally extremely wet when she is turned on. So as I'm eating her out. A lot of juices start coming out. Which again is normal for her. Sometimes vaginal juice clumps together a little bit. So I go to town on the puss. Eating her way through the juice and clumps of her cum. Later on that week she texts me that she had a yeast infection. The clumps I was eating were cottage cheese like discharge. Due to the yeast. When I was much younger. I had been seeing this new guy for about a week. I figured our personalities were not going to work. But I thought maybe I would see if he was decent enough to keep around as a FWB. He was not. He was a few pumps in, on top, and then started to shake and groan. He had some kind of bizarre spasm seizure thing on top of me then rolled over. I was so confused. I had to ask him what just happened. I was honestly concerned he was epileptic or something. He said it had just been a long time since he had SX. I told him I didn't think it was gonna work out and about a month later his girlfriend contacted me saying to stay away from him. Not a problem. Weirdo. He's all yours. Now I'm just stuck with this gross memory. This guy really wanted to hook up with me. I was kind of meh about it but decided to entertain the idea. He had talked himself up to me so much that I was expecting a really good time. He couldn't get the condom on properly. Three pumps and done. Didn't even try to satisfy me afterwards. Didn't act embarrassed. It's like he thought he was a champ. I don't care if SX is quick. Please your partner. And don't talk yourself up to be some big shot in bed when you're clearly not. Oh and he was a really bad kisser too. Uck. My first attempt at an L. I'm 6 feet 4. My partner was 4 feet 10. There was just... Not enough ass. I'll just leave this here. Sometimes the hotter the woman. The less they feel they need to put effort in. 
Which just makes it a bad experience. Trying to have sx when your dick just isn't that into it is no fun. Like it only gets like half hard bc you're just not into the chick or it can see past your beer horny goggles. Like trying to play pool with a rope. Inserted the penis and she tells me she's a virgin. She really had no clue what to do and kept asking me what to do. Then she was giving me head and I had to get her to stop because she was scrping her teeth off my dick. Still came. This will probably get buried. But the worst sx I ever had has with a long term boyfriend of mine. It was a very unhappy. Unhealthy relationship for a lot of reasons. And our sx life was definitely one of those reasons. He was uncircumcised. Had phimosis. Had a micro penis. Seriously. If I tried to give him a handy it disappeared in my grip, I do not have large hands, and he had a problem with premature ejaculate and on the rare occasions he could be bothered for sx. So he's finally in the mood. He gets on top. And two. Five seconds later, and I'm being generous here, he comes. One thing we tried to do to help his sensitivity was to allow him to remain inside me after orgsm. I still have no idea if this would actually help. But whatever. I was willing to try anything. So he's laying on top of me. His tiny and post orgsm withering dick is doing nothing to keep his cum from leaking out of me. And what does this motherer do? He farts. Just absolutely. Positively lets one rip while he's still inside of me. Needless to say. The magic was gone after that.